Okay, hello, beautiful people out there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And this is Prosper Mike here from Prime Media Studio. At this time, I'll be giving you breaking news. Uh, sorry, I mean news for the day. Uh, top headlines that make the run news of the day. And uh, uh, before that, I'm going to call for a pre break. And, uh, then we'll come back to you shortly. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the first story on the news today is from the Vanguard newspaper that talked about uh, 150 people dead, 10,000 missing as flood wrecks havoc on uh, Libya. Uh, if you see the clip there, it's, uh, it's a horrible uh, situation out there. That the, the death toll from freak floods in eastern uh, Libya is expected to soar dramatically with 10,000 people reported missing. The Red Cross warned on Tuesday. Officials in Libya have said at least 150 people were killed in the sudden flooding on Sunday afternoon after storm Daniel swept the Mediterranean, uh, uh, Mediterranean lashing Bulgaria, Greece, and uh, Turkey. So it's, um, it's a devastation right there. A lot, a lot of people that have died in that uh, flood um, that situation. We're going to move on to the... Okay, yeah, yeah, you can see the clip out there. Uh, so... What we can see there, the official, officials in Libya have said at least one of the people has been killed in the sudden flooding on Sunday afternoon. Okay, yeah, moving to the next story today. Uh, we saw that uh, in INEC, um, she, INEC is a monumental disgrace, says Chidoka. So according to him, we're going to hear from, from this moment, he's talking about that. The, a former minister of aviation and chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Osita Chidoke, Chidoka, has slammed the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, over its failure to electronically transmit uh, election results in real time during the 2023 election. So Chidoka, uh, while appearing on Chinese television, um, All Our Politics, today, stated that despite promise made uh, with uh, the Anambra Equity and Ocean Gubernatorial elections, the commission failed on a larger scale. We're going to hear from the Chiroka from that um, from that interview. So he said, INEC is a monumental disgrace. It is an organization that I am ashamed to associate with as a Nigerian. They made promise with with the, the Anambra equity and Ocean election, but uh, what happened was a different case uh, altogether. Let's hear from the uh, uh, Chiroka. Uh, where he made a statement in, in that judgment well i think the judgment is a sad day for nigeria sad sad because i thought the judiciary would have been interested in expanding the progress we've made in election management um i do not have difficulties i do not have issues with them finding in favor of Tinubu as being duly elected. Um, by their own logic, they can arrive at that conclusion if they want. But I didn't like that they talked down on the petitioners. The language was quite intemperate. The language, I was the star witness in the case in 2018. I didn't see this kind of talking down on the petitioners. I mean, it is the part of the electoral process for us to go to court instead of going to the streets. And to make it sound like the petitioners were frivolous and use such intemperate language, I was a little disturbed. Second one is that I'm ashamed as a Nigerian. Nigerians want to join BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. I'll take three examples. Brazil, India, and South Africa are known democracies. Brazil conducted an election, and that election was a big election, and I will um, figure out how many people voted in that election. So in, in the case of India, 
they had 911 million registered voters. Over 600 million people voted. 3.9 million machines were used for that election. Nobody went to court. Not one person. The Congress party accepted the result. The world has moved on. Nobody goes to court anymore now for election. And there was a voter turnout of 67%. In the case of Brazil, there were 92,000 voting stations. There was 79% voter turnout. 79% in Brazil. And it was done with DRE machines. And there were some also paper uh, machines involved. But in all that voting, the electronic system was subjected to public review. The political parties were present, and there was a public review. So the countries that are in the BRICS, they don't go to court after elections. The election management is such that people do not just go to court. The system is clear. Are we so gradually it is a moving shame. towards it? It's a, it's a shame that our judiciary did not have strong words for INEC. Now, let me tell you. Three people, three people issued reports on this election. IRI, NDI from the US, EU from Europe, and Yaga from Nigeria. In all their reports, Yaga said INEC did not meet public expectation. IRI said despite positive expectations, election fell short. EU said election exposed systemic weaknesses and therefore signals a need for further legal and operational reforms to enhance transparency inclusiveness. So instead of rambling about whether the regulations is in contradiction to the law or not, the, I was expecting the judiciary to be tough on INEC on that we don't need to create these ambiguities. If you created rules for the election, then follow the rules. It shouldn't be their headache whether it was the act said so or not. But by INEC telling everybody that this is the process, Okay, that's the maker speaking there, uh, expressing his grievance as regard the INEC uh, uh, declaration of the result and the process at which uh, the election was carried out. Okay, moving on, we saw that uh, in uh, Vanguard, armed men attacked Benue government uh, transport vehicles, adopt 10 passengers. Said, uh, there. So suspected armed men have reportedly hijacked two fully loaded buses belonging to the Benue state government owned Benue Links Transport Company, whisking away over 10 passengers from the Lagos bound vehicle that took off from Makodi. In what it was gathered that the armed men waylaid the vehicle at about 2 p.m. on Sunday along uh, Ajakuta Okene Road in Kogi State. A source in the, comp in the company who spoke on condition of anonymity in Makori disclosed that some of the passengers sustained injuries during the attack, while some were lucky to have escaped on hot. It is said it is true. The incident, I quote, is the incident happened along Ajakuta Okene Road yesterday between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. when the two buses were loaded, were heading to Lagos. Available information indicated that uh, 10 passengers were abducted during the attack, and the incident was reported at uh, Adogo Police Station near Okene. So moving on, uh, still on the uh, headlines, we saw that a tank killed in Plateau Village Sunday nights. About 10 people were killed in Plateau Village on Sunday night. So government suspect to be, suspected to be Fulani Hesmen have attacked a Colbert community, Kumbun District, Mango local government area of Plateau States, killing 10 persons, why and also specified numbers of people were injured and property destroyed. The incident happened on Sunday night, and some of the victims were uh, attacked, guiding the community. The residents, uh, Nimrets, told Vanguard yesterday, Amflam militia attacked at the village about 2, 10 p.m. on Sunday. Ten people were killed, others injured, and property destroyed. Arrangement is on for a mass barrier for the victims. Okay, moving on to the next story. Uh, Niger absent as Nigeria, Benin, Togo flag of joint uh, regional maritime operation. Uh, the, the, the navies of 
Benin Republic, Togo, and Nigeria have lack of operational safety uh, to men too, within enhancing maritime security through collaboration for regional security, for regional uh, security. The event was held on Monday in Benin, in Benin Republic. However, the Nigeria Republic, one of the signatories to the MOU, was absent at the ceremony, according to the director of the multinational Maritime Coordination Center, Zone E, Commodore Anebu Ebok. The operation is an aspect of a uh, memorandum of understanding signed in 2014. Ebok noted that the agreement is to enable the nations of the, each co country to fight criminal elements without any border uh, restriction. Okay, moving on to the next story. IGP orders armed licensing review wants owners of illegal weapons as the headline considered on the Chinese news platform so the acting inspector general police Kaode Egotekun has set up a committee to review the force firearm licenses and regulations according to a statement one uh, statement Monday by the force post person Mewa Adejobi the IGP mandated the community to carry out the review excuse me mandated the committee to carry out the review on, in line with the firearms act and other instant laws he also issued a warning to those in possession of arms and light weapons without authorization directing state commissioners of police and supervised supervising assistance inspector generals of police to plan down on illegal fabrication sales possessions and use of prohibited firearms similarly in further in furtherance of his zeal to tackle all arms of all forms of insecurity in the country, the IGP has issued a stern warning to all individuals involving in wrongfully possession of arms and light weapons. This statement reads, he reiterated that illegal pro uh, proliferation of uh, firearms and light weapons possess a significant threat to the peace and stability of our nation. In light of this, the Nigerian police force is resolute, um, determined to combat all the illegal fabrication, seize and possession of firearms. End of quote. Moving on. Yeah, Unijaw student protects school fees high. I uh, will see the story on the on the Punch newspaper. Students of the University of Jaws, Plato State, on Tuesday blocked rules leading to campus on protests. In school fees and other services rendered by the university, and with placards with different inscriptions, such as if your children can afford the money, we can't, and we don't want to drop out of school, among uh, others. The students said Nigerians were already going through a lot of uh, hardship, hence, the need for authorities not to comp not to complicate the uh, already bad situation the student with further uh, increments. So that story, you can get a digital story from the Punch News uh, platform. And from this uh, last story, we're going to call it a day here today on the newspaper review. Of course, my able colleague, uh, J um, uh, Moses, will be on site shortly to also uh, talk about our uh, major stories uh, that is making the round. Uh, he's been Professor Michael here. And of course, James Toma has been with me in this uh, wonderful a uh, wet day in Lagos, Nigeria. So do have a wonderful time uh, wherever you are on this beautiful day.